Well, the South Bend Cubs' first pitch banquet is coming up February 9th in downtown South Bend at the Double Tree Hotel. And the featured speaker is former Major League pitcher Jamie Moyer. And Jamie joins us here on WSBT Radio. Jamie, it's Darren. Good to talk to you. How are you? Yeah, I'm doing well. It's, uh, you know, baseball's right around the corner. This hot stove stuff seems to be going on all around the country. And I'm excited to be in South Bend for this. Uh, Hot Stove Banquet in February. We are looking forward to having you back in South Bend, and a brand-new facility is being built right now at Four Winds Field. Your good friend Mark Haley is in charge of this brand-new hitting facility, which is going to be for the South Bend Cubs and also for the community, which is fantastic news. And I think you've had a chance to talk to Mark. How cool is this going to be for our community to have such a facility at this minor league ballpark? I would have to think it's pretty unique. Well, it's got to be exciting, I think, for the first and foremost for the Cubs to be coming into town in the South Bend with, uh, obviously, the, the big league club just being up the road about an hour and a half. But I know Mark is very excited about uh, the situation he's in and his batting cage situation because, again, it's you know this is what you know this is where baseball starts. It starts with the fundamentals and it starts about talking baseball and teaching baseball. And Mark is very good at in, in those areas. And I think he will excel. I think the batting cages will be great for not only uh, you know the the professional athletes that come in and use the facilities, but for the community. And and again, you know, living in a community where you know you don't have the the, the weather all year round to play baseball outdoors, uh, having an indoor facility is a great place to go with uh, great professional instruction there uh, to help lead these younger kids uh, to hopefully fulfill the aspirations of becoming professional baseball players. Jamie, April 9th will be opening day for the South Bend Cubs at Four Winds Field. You experienced 25 opening days in Major League Baseball. How special is that first day of the season? Oh, it's very special. And, you know, it even goes back further. It goes back to the first day of spring training. But once you get through the druthers of spring training, knowing that opening day is right around the corner, I'm sure April 9th will be a very special day in South Bend. Uh, again, like I said, you know, with the Cubs coming into town, uh, and, you know, we always know that when spring training starts, spring is right around the corner and summer is, is going to follow. So, you know, baseball is a fun time. Uh, it, it's a way for families to get out to the ballpark, to have some great family experiences and watch some good baseball. Jamie Moyer is our guest, the featured speaker at the First Pitch Banquet, February 9th at the Double Tree Hotel in downtown South Bend. Tickets are available right now at Four Winds Field. You can stop by today, call the South Bend Cubs to get your tickets for the event on February the 9th. Over your time in Major League Baseball, Jamie, the use of statistics has really changed the game, the sabermetric generation. Where do you stand on how sabermetrics has affected the game? Well, you know, I'm, I'm, I haven't bought completely into the sabermetrics. You know, I'm, I was always on the active side, on the field side, and I, be, I really believe that uh, you know you got to play the game with your instincts. And, yeah, you can use statistics, um, to, to pull some stats up and, and to pull some comparables up. But, you know, as a manager, as a player, uh, as a competitor, you know, you have, to, you have to use your skills, you have to use your skill sets and, and, and play off of what you know and, and, and how you know how to play the game. And, you know, I, I think once you get between the white lines, you know, the, the statistics go away and you have to compete. And I think sometimes we get so caught up in numbers and statistics that we forget how to compete. So, you know, I haven't bought completely into the, the Saber metrics yet, uh, but I, I think there is a place for them in the game. But when you, when you spent, put all your emphasis on Saber metrics, uh, I think you're going to go backwards before you go forward. Jamie, one of the hot topics right now in Major League Baseball is pace of play, the installation of a pitch clock at AA and AAA. As a former pitcher, I can't imagine that excites you. No, not at all. Um, you know, again, uh, the game is played on the field, and sometimes it takes a little more time to figure things out or or to get control of your thoughts and your emotions on the field. And now if you're you're now put to a timer. Um, I, again, I think it takes away um, you know some of the strategy of the game. Uh, you know, as a pitcher, sometimes you want to slow the game down, and, and there are times that you want to speed the game up. You know, if you really think about it, the pitcher has the ball in his hand. He has total control of the tempo of the game, and we're you know we're people are making decisions here. People, unfortunately, I think some of the decision makers have never played the game before, so they really don't understand that aspect of it, and and that's the shame of it. I think if they had people uh, involved in making these decisions that have played the game, I think they would be 
they would be having second thoughts on on what they're doing and how they're doing it. But again, I, you know, we're, we're we live in a world of uh, you know everything's at your fingertips and <laughs> everybody wants everything fast. And you know, I see why it's going where it is, but I don't agree with it. Mm. Jamie Moyer is our guest here on WSBT Radio, featured speaker at the First Pitch Banquet coming up at the Double Tree Hotel February 9th in downtown South Bend. Just to build on your comments, allowing the batter not to leave the batter's box, Jamie, that would make a huge difference. And I've heard some other things, but I think the batter actually slows down the game as much as the pitcher does at times. Oh, I would, I would definitely agree with with that. And you know, I, I think there's a, you know. As athletes, we have a lot of idiosyncrasies. You know, and I, don't, I think sometimes in the mound you don't realize what you're doing between pitches, and and it's the same way with the hitter. You know, they're fixing their batting gloves, they're looking for signs uh, from the third base coach. Um, but you're right. You know, it's you know my feeling is it's been talked about before. You know, once the hitter gets in the batter's box, they can take one foot out of the batter's box, but there always has to be a foot in the batter's mm-hmm. box. And I think if they would just uh, stay with that rule right there and enforce it. Um, you know, that would speed up the game right there. You know, between innings, uh, I get it. You know, sometimes that's where the bills are paid uh, with with <laughs> advertising and things like that. But uh, you know, that pace too. Uh, you know, again, you know, there's some guys that are quicker to the mound and get their pitches in. And and you know, I, I've even heard where they're gonna, you know, the pitcher's gonna have to be done. 20 or 30 seconds before the inning starts and and Mm. now you're just going to have him stand there. Uh, That doesn't make sense to me either. So uh, again, you know, with any implementation of rules and and we've seen it with the the instant replay, uh, you know, they're going to have to tweak things as they go. Uh, But again, I think we're taking a game that's a human game and we're trying to control it totally. And, and I, I just think it's going to, somewhere down the road, it's, it's going to have uh, a negative effect on the game. One more baseball question that I want you to talk about your foundation, but I know you were following the Phillies last year as their TV analyst. From the outside looking in, your impressions of the direction of the Chicago Cubs right now with all the young prospects that are trickling through their system right now? Well, I think the, the Chicago Cubs have a bright future ahead of them. You know, they've, got, they've done it the right way. they They've really kind of gone back to scouting and development, and and they've, they've brought in some great prospects. They've made some nice trades. Um, they brought in a great manager in Joe Madden. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've always thought the world of Joe Madden and what he does as a manager and how he gets his players to play. And I, it takes a special person to be able to do that. Not every manager can do that. And I think Joe has a special knack for that. So I think the, you know, the Chicago area, the Chicago Cubs fans, um, you know, if it's not this year, sometime here in the near future, uh, is, is going to have a special year or many special years mm-hmm. to come. And, uh, you know, that championship that uh, has uh, eluded them for many, many years may be uh, on the horizon. I'm sure a lot of people in our listening audience are very familiar with your foundation, Jamie, but for those that are not up to date on what you and your family are doing, give our listeners a little idea what you do with your foundation. Well, Karen and I um, have created the Moyer Foundation in, nine, in 2000, and uh, this year is our 15th anniversary. And, and what we're about, uh, or what, where our passion is, is our children. And uh, we have two initiatives. One is Camp Aaron, which is a grief camp, free grief camp for children ages 6 to 17. We have 45 of those camps throughout the country. And we also have another camp called Camp Mariposa, and that camp actually is in the South Bend area, and that's for that's a free camp for children ages nine to twelve uh, who live under the roof of an addicted family member. And uh, again, we're we're here to help uh, those those kids in need, uh, dealing with the loss of somebody in their family, which would be Camp Aaron and Camp Mariposa, um, a camp for children who are living under the roof of an addicted family member. So. Uh, you know, addiction is is a big thing in our country. I think there's 8.3 million kids living under the roof of an addicted family member, um, and you know, unfortunately, I think a lot of these kids feel like they're the ones that have caused the addiction, and they're really not the ones that have caused the addiction. And we're trying to bring that to the forefront and allow these kids to to live a normal life. And for people that want to find out more information, is there a website that they can go to? You can go to MoyerFoundation.org. You can learn about uh, who we are, uh, where we're going, um, what we're about, 
And, uh, and if people want to get involved um, with uh, time, talent, or treasure, uh, they can also find that on that website as well, MoyerFoundation.org. Very good. I know back in the day you spent a lot of time with Tom Denon and John Finneran on this program, so it's really great to have you, Jamie, back on Sportsbeat once again, and we look forward to having you back in South Bend for the South Bend Cubs' first pitch banquet February 9th at the Doubletree Hotel. Tickets are available. Contact the South Bend Cubs today. And, Jamie, looking forward to seeing you at that event on February the 9th, and thank you so much for your time. Oh, no problem. Thanks for having me on today, and uh, looking forward to seeing you in February.